Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the Wilson Clash 98 racket review. The hype around the Wilson Clash series continues, the feedback around the Clash and the Clash tour has been very good. I really like the tour as you know, but some players are looking for a bit more control. That's why the Clash 98 with its slightly smaller head size was highly anticipated. The question is now, does it deliver the goods? Well, this is what I hope this review will reveal in some form. As you subscribers of Tennis Nerd already know, I really like the Clash Tour. For a while I was wondering if I should transition to this racket because it was so easy to use. You got a lot of free power and spin and there was a lot of comfort as well, which is usually not what you get with a 100 square inch racket that give you power and spin. But I'm usually more comfortable with the control of smaller head sizes you can swing them a bit faster through the air. Uh, the thick beam of the Clash Tour along uh, with its head size felt a bit sluggish at times, although I do really like the response. So I was very excited to test this slightly smaller and slightly slightly thinner 98 square inch version. So the difference is not huge. Uh, besides the smaller head size, the beam is ever slightly thinner at 24 millimeters instead of 24.5. The weight is the same at 310 grams and the balance is pretty much the same too at 12 points head light, which translates to 30.6 centimeters. Very head light balance. What happens when you have a bigger head size is that you get more stability. This is plain physics. Um, the sweet spot is a bit bigger and you get more stability with a larger head size uh, with the same weight. So you reduce some of the stability with the Clash 98. That is quite noticeable. You get a bit more control, which is a good thing, but it doesn't feel quite as stable. Uh, if you play flatter tennis, I think you'll like 98 a bit more and it does not break strings as fast as the Tour or the, the normal Clash, but it lacks a bit of power and spin compared to those two rackets. So the specs are very close. Uh, I wonder what would have happened if they went with a slightly thinner beam than this. Uh, it's still a quite thick beam. Maybe that's a part of the Free Flex and the Stable Smart, which are the two technologies behind the Clash series. I'm not sure, but I did miss a bit of that free power and spin. And I also felt like this racket needed a little bit of weight to improve the stability. It was definitely less forgiving on off-center hits. The size of the sweet spot with the Clash 98 is still pretty generous. It's not the size of the Tour for sure. And it doesn't give you the power and spin, but it's still a quite easy to use frame. However, there are a lot of 98 square inch head size rackets that play within the same ballpark of uh, control and feel. This one is a bit plusher, but it also feel a bit muted at times. It's a good racket, uh, no question about that. It does require more from the user, but it doesn't have that personality of the Clash Tour. There are a lot of comfortable 98 square inch rackets that play within the similar power levels. So this racket is definitely not as unique and as different feeling as the Clash Tour uh, and the Clash. So I'm not sure if I like that trade-off. I prefer to get a bit more spin and power. If you really like the response of the Clash, but you want a bit more control, a bit smaller head size, I think this is a very good racket. It's a competent performer, nice feel, good comfort, decent control. I just feel it lacks a little bit of the personality. Maybe they should have taken it further. Maybe they should have gone a bit higher in the stiffness rating, I don't know. Uh, I just feel like it, it might get lost in the jungle of many other good 98 square inch rackets. And it doesn't have enough personality to stand on its own in between like a Blade or a Ultra, for example. And I did miss the free power and spin, although it's not natural for my game style to look for that. But that's something I really enjoyed with the Clash Tour, uh, along with the stability. I didn't have to add any lead tape. With this racket I felt like I had to add some lead tape to make it play as stable. Uh, and I did add 4 grams at 10 and 2. Counter weighted it in the handle. Got it up to around 340 grams and 31.5 centimeter balance. For me it played better, but it's still not something that I could easily switch to. I didn't get that wow experience that I got with the Clash. The strings I used for my Clash 98 playtest was the Headhawk Touch, which is a go-to string for me. Around 23 kilos and Kirschbaum max power at 
the same tension that's usually my go-to reference tension for polyester strings they performed pretty similarly i think this racket is not string sensitive but i think it got a bit more muted in this version than in the tour so i did test this racket in stock form and with lead tape and i did like the lead tape a bit better but let's look at some pros and cons of the Clash 98. If we look at the pros, it's definitely a still a spin-friendly racket. It does not break strings as fast as the Tour, which is a good thing. I have tennis friends that have problems with the Clash Tour, where they break strings in one hour, one and a half, uh, which is a bit too fast, I would say. It's faster through the air, really helped me hit bigger serves. I think that was perhaps the best shot for me, uh, so I could really swing out on the serve. It did offer better control than the Tour on lower pickup balls and um, approach shots. I felt like the Clash 98 was easier to use than the Tour. The cons of this racket, if I compare it to the Tour, it's not as easy to get free power spin. That's obviously why it's a more control-oriented racket. It's not as stable as I would have liked personally on off-center shots, so I felt like I needed to add some weight. And it's not really as precise as a Blade or an Ultra Tour, and that's perhaps what I missed most, that I would have wanted a bit more precision. However, I do like a bit more um, crisp response, so the Clash is obviously quite plush, low RA, and with the 98 square inch head size, it does feel a bit muted. This is definitely a good racket, good control spin, comfortable response. If you like the Clash but feel that this is a bit too powerful or lack a bit of precision, this is definitely something you must try. I personally prefer the response to the Tour. I think it has more of a unique feel, more free power and spin, which I think this racket really benefits from. And it feels like it's um, more of a game changer than this racket. This one can easily get lost in uh, between other, a lot of other 98 square inch rackets. I've reviewed quite a few of the 98 square inch rackets, very good ones, this last year. And um, it's very hard to see where this stands out although it's still a solid and good racket. That's all for the Wilson Clash 98 racket review. I'm curious to hear what you think of it when you try it. Definitely a good stick, but I prefer the larger head size siblings. That's all for me now. I hope you have a nice day and that you get to play some tennis.
Wow. Nice. Thank you. 